Hello and welcome to this edition of uh, the Raisin Ideas Pod. And I have with me His Excellency Narayan Prakash Saud with me, the Foreign Minister of Nepal. Thank you, sir, for joining us for this conversation. And I hope uh, you have enjoyed your time at the, at the Raisin Dialogue. Uh, let Let us start from the big, um, uh, from the good news. We have a new momentum in the relationship. Uh, we have had uh, your Prime Minister visiting India recently uh, and Indian um, last year and we have Indian External Affairs Minister in Nepal recently. So uh, there is a new momentum. How do we sustain this momentum? Because this is important. Um, um, it is important to prioritize certain areas. So do you see uh, some kind of prioritization happening or do you want to prioritize certain areas as you take this momentum forward? Thank you for calling here. Uh, we and India have very good relations since long time, long, long in our long history. Our Prime Minister has visited few months back to India. Uh, the visit was fruitful. Uh, we openly discussed about the various aspect of the relation of the two countries. And few days ago, uh, first week of uh, this year. Um, for external minister of India visited Nepal. We also uh, discussed about the area of mutual, uh, mutual benefit of the two countries. Uh, we have a very good relations. Uh, in those high-level visits, uh, we discussed about the potential of hydroelectricity. Uh, India uh, uh, India is going to import electricity from Nepal. Uh, we discuss about trade, agriculture. Uh, Indian economy is rising so fast. So uh, uh, Nepal side is always interested uh, in how we can uh, make benefit from rising Indian economy. Uh, this, uh, these visits are very fruitful. Uh, both the countries uh, are in cl close communication in IT sector, agricultural sector. Uh, we also have uh, discussed in investment also. Uh, so the visit were successful and um, a new momentum uh, of these visitors is we are seeing new momentum uh, in the relation of the two countries. Uh, yes, on that, uh, you know, uh, we have um, uh, a very young population on both sides. Um, and on Indian side, we see um, a lot of uh, interest and support, uh, growing support. We do we conduct regular surveys uh, of on foreign policy and we do find that Nepal is, is a very trusted partner for young Indians. Um, at a, at a time of this demographic churn, both in India and Nepal, what is the perception in, in, in Nepal amongst the youth as far as India is concerned? And as you mentioned, India's rise is concerned. Um, uh, because there have been some, uh, some concerns in India that perhaps there is a demographic divide emerging in Nepal about India. Is that true? How far do you see, do you see that happening? And how do you take the people-to-people -people ties forward? The relation between Nepal and India is multifaceted. Uh, we have a people-to-people uh, -people relation, government-to-government -government relation, uh, we have business relations, we have transit relations. Uh, so uh, uh, the youth of both sides want a better future of their country. Uh, in Nepal, we also uh, we, we are seeing that youth want to um, make better relation with India. So. Uh, the opportunities uh, in, within India, they can explore it. Uh, and so um, the narrative uh, developed by few of the uh, persons uh, in uh, Nepal or India, it's a very small population who can divide those countries psychologically. Uh, but uh, uh, Nepal and India, India has very good relations, uh, economic, social, uh, cultural relations and we can't um, 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 we can't um, break those relations by any governments or any policy makers indeed i think that has been the 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 sort of driver of this relationship uh, 
um, despite all the turbulence for a, you know we have seen how people to people ties continue to be very robust um, i uh, sort of wanted to touch upon some of the structural issues which are um, you know uh, we are living in a world where we are increasingly talking about uh, major power contestation fragmentation particularly uh, uh, us china dynamic is becoming very very potent um, uh, you have very good ties with both us and with china uh how far do you see uh, that balancing continuing to go forward do you do i are, are you challenged by the fact that uh, uh the two us and china are, are competing more fiercely than ever or is this an opportunity to get the best from both sides uh we have a constant foreign policy we believe in non alignment policy uh we are the active member of uh, united nations uh we believe in Uh, charter of united nations and uh, we give the importance to uh, all the countries of the world and the neighbors and the uh, important uh, inter- friends in international uh, community uh, we have a um, the united states is uh, giving cooperation to nepal in so many uh, areas in education health and other areas also now uh, they are helping us in uh, by mcc project in uh, power transmission also uh, usaid is also providing us uh, uh, different type of grants and uh, helps so we have relation long uh, history of we have long history of relation with uh, united states and china is a neighboring country emerging economy uh we never uh, allow any anti china activity in our country um we want to to take benefits as you mentioned from uh the emerging economies of the world we are comparatively uh, we are a small country because both of the giant uh, countries are our neighbors but in international arena Uh, we are a middle sized country by population and by area also uh, uh we are taking benefits so we want to to um, make partnership with all of the uh, both the neighbors and other countries of the world so we have good relation with india china and united states and um, uh, ambassador uh, minister in in the sense uh, when you look uh, at one of the most important and promising developments that have happened in in recent times is uh, the uh, you know revival of interest in the hydropower sector of nepal and how you mentioned about it in in your initial remarks so that this is one area of priority for india and nepal but we have also seen triangular cooperation with bangladesh uh, is that something that uh, that uh, uh, nepal is willing to consider on a on a larger basis is this is it more of triangular cooperation uh, happening can uh, you know uh, raising of finance for example from different sources is that a priority because that's one area which is really now um, uh, nepal strength and how do you see capitalizing on that strength uh nepal has uh, very big hydro potentiality uh, we have uh, a possibility of One hundred thousand megawatt electricity. Uh, India is uh, our uh, natural ally and partner uh, uh, for the use of those potentials. Uh, in hundred years, we only have produced the twenty-eight thousand mega twenty-eight hundred megawatt electricity until now. Uh, India when. we make previous uh, visit in india our prime minister visit here i was uh, accompanying him at that time india committed to buy 10000 megawatt within a span of 10 year uh, and um, uh, when joint uh, commission meeting was held with external affairs minister of india to uh, india in kathmandu we have signed on agreement to um, that purchase deal so it's a big event in the history of nepal uh, india needs uh, green and clean energy and we have high potential of that energy uh, so um, we are natural source of energy hydro energy for india 
and india is a big mar- market for us so we want more investment from india uh, in generation of hydroelectricity in transmission of hydroelectricity uh, for india uh, for uh, purchasing of uh, hydroelectricity uh, in this connection uh, bangladesh also want energy from us uh, we are we are uh, just discussing uh, we are in negotiation uh, within negotiation with them about the first token of uh, business 40 megawatt through the indian grid uh, so uh, there is a quite possibility that uh, we the three parties uh, nepal india bangladesh we can uh, purchase uh, we can go to the uh, electricity purchasing deal and it will be beneficial beneficial for three countries and uh, we have already started it and uh, it will be expedited and in coming days uh, the benefit will come to three of the parties so finally um, uh, minister i just wanted to touch upon um, this aspect of uh, sub regional cooperation because you know to triangular cooperation between nepal india and bangladesh is a good example of of sub regional cooperation um, how do you see the progress uh, of of sub regional cooperation in south asia whether it is bimstec or bbin do you uh, are you satisfied with the progress or do, would you want to accelerate some of that is happening because there is a there is a sense that south asia needs to be more integrated uh, in in various ways uh, so d- uh, how do you perceive that the challenge to the institutional lens of some of these initiatives uh, south asia is not only uh, uh, geography it's a culture linguistic uh, values uh, and development potential also there so uh, we should do more in bimstec bbin and being a, a chair of the sark uh, nepal wanted to reactivate the sark also uh, i hope after election uh, in pakistan uh, new formation of the new government um, uh, the regional um, countries will renegotiate and we will restart the uh, start the sark and we sh- will give momentum uh, but uh, nowadays we are not uh, fully satisfied with the uh, pace of uh, uh, those institutions uh, so we should do more on bimstec bbin in infrastructure in connectivity in business we should do more finally minister uh, you know this will this is now a decade since uh, the modi government has in power has been in power and we have uh, one of their signature foreign policy initiatives have been the neighborhood first policy mm-hmm. so as a as, as as one of india's most uh, uh, closest and most trusted neighbors how would you evaluate the the, the last decade in terms of neighborhood first uh, are you satisfied what what do you think should be the priority for the next decade and where do you think india nepal relations should be uh, focusing on as you look forward towards the next decade uh, prime minister modi and his government has done marvelous work uh they give uh, stability uh with democracy uh and the development also so it's uh, very important for the whole region uh his uh, foreign policy based on neighborhood first uh we always respected in covid um times uh, uh, india sent to vaccine in nepal in earthquake time they sent the help from india to nepal um even in middle east when uh, in uh, when the middle east prog- problem rises and israel was attacked by hamas at that time uh, we um, we uh, you, we also use the indian aircraft to, to rescue our people from there so uh, india is doing fine and i think being a big country and emerging economy uh, india will uh, uh, further uh, l- l- be liberal to its neighbor thank you minister thank you so much for talking to us and and we look forward uh, to a very productive next decade of of india nepal relationship as you we take the neighborhood first policy forward but thank you so much for joining us uh, thank for you. this thank podcast you. thank you